We're here. It's week 16. I'm Dustin. Welcome to Fantasy Smack Talk. This is your last waiver wire show of the year. Hopefully all his teams are in the championship. If they are, we got some players to talk about that might help you get that W. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, go ahead and do that. Hit the notifications, give us some thumbs up, leave some comments in this video if you want a chance for it to be picked uh, for the Flex Show later in the week. Make sure to list if it's standard or PPR. So for this video, I rank them in order on how I would pick them up based on .5 PPR. I shoot this before the Monday night game, so keep that in mind. And I always start with my pickup of the week, the guy that I think is going to get kind of the most added, so the ownership needs to be a little bit low. And this is brought to you by FanDuel. If you're out of it for your season long, click on the link in the description. Sign up, deposit some money, play in some FanDuel. It's a lot of fun. Supplement it with your, your regular uh, fantasy. Just get a little bit more action. But the pick of the week this week is Jamal Williams. Aaron Jones went down. But don't worry, he got you that .8 points before he went down. Still a little bitter about that one. But Jamal Williams... He should be a, a decent spot start week 16. You know, we'll see what happens with the Packers. There already, there's been some whispers about Rodgers maybe sitting. So, you know, it could be, you know, run heavy offense. We'll see what happens with all of that. But Jamal Williams, decent enough player. He should get enough volume. But I think he'll be at least a solid flex option if you're looking for a running back. Only on a 20% of leagues, so he's out there in a lot. Balage from Miami is next. Gore went down with injury. It was a solid season for Gore, though. But who did they go to? It wasn't Drake. They went to Balage. So they just really don't seem to trust Drake as an every down back. But, you know, not to take anything away from Balage, he is an exciting young player and he proved it week 15. 12 carries, 123 yards, and a touchdown. So, you know, pay attention to the reports, but Gore's out. But we'll see what they're going to do with the timeshare between him and Drake. But it looks like Balaj is going to be the one to start. Jeff Wilson for San Francisco. Brita got re-injured. As I'm shooting right now, they haven't released, released the extent of that injury. So Wilson could be a decent volume play week 16. Only issue, they're playing Chicago. So you can't be super excited about that. Damian Williams I want to talk about. Only on a 70% of leagues. Ware's probably coming back. We'll see, and that's just going to muddy things up. But in the, in the leagues where he's still available, you might just want to scoop him. I mean, we saw what he can do if given the, the amount of touches that he got. So even if Ware comes back, they might go with Williams. So, you know, the 30% the of leagues he's still available in, he needs to get scooped up just in case he is uh, going to get another start. John Kelly, so far the reports on Gurley have been positive. It looks like he, he's going to play Week 16, but just in case... If you own Gurley, go ahead and, and handcuff with Kelly. And then David Williams. This is this is a weird situation out there with Jacksonville. Fournette hardly played in the second half at all. You know, the only thing I'm really kind of thinking is he's in the doghouse. You know, it, it's not like he's helped himself with uh, how he's handled himself on the field and yelling at the fans and all that stuff. So there's a chance that the the team's just not happy with him and they just want to see what what David Williams can do. So it's weird. I'm not sure what's going to happen, but I don't mind him as just a guy to add to your bench until it shakes out. Wide receiver Mike Williams, monster game. Week 15, if you started him, congrats. That was a nice play. Keenan Allen got injured in that game, so that obviously helped boost his value. And it looks like Allen might be out another game. So Williams, decent spot start if you're looking for a wide receiver. Robert Foster, another solid game for him. I know it's a tough passing offense to trust, but Foster has another solid game, and I think it's start. It's time to start giving this guy a little bit more respect, only on 15% of leagues. Robbie Anderson, a guy that I liked coming into the year, hadn't really done much, had a game or two here or there, but last two weeks he's been coming on, not minding Robbie Anderson. It's just like a high upside uh, flex play in deeper leagues. The Denver situation, Hamilton and Patrick, both these guys have really stepped up since Sanders went down. They're at Oakland week 16. Don't mind that for them. You know, if you're just looking for a, a high upside uh, wide receiver that you can add. The Bengals situation. Man, <laughs> they lost another one. Boyd's now hurt. I mean, the Bengals, they just, it seems like every week they're losing a big name player. Erickson and John Ross are what's left out there. 
I'm not really excited about either of them, but I'm, you know, this is for deep leagues, 14, 16 team leagues. If you've got some injury issues, you're looking for a flex option. I mean, they're still going to throw the ball out there. So Erickson and Ross, I think, do have some value. At quarterback, Baker Mayfield, you know, he's been kind of up and down as of late, but they have a matchup against the Bengals. He's only on 65% of leagues. You know, if you have Aaron Rodgers and they end up sitting him or something like that and you're looking for a quarterback, if he's available, I don't mind him. And then Josh Allen, you know, they're at New England. I'm sure New England will scheme to make some, force him to make some mistakes, but with just the, what he's doing on the ground with his rushing yards and his rushing touchdowns, it just really gives him a solid floor each week. So I like Josh Allen in, uh, in deeper leagues. Tight end, Evan Ingram, he's healthy. He needs to get picked up if you're looking for a tight end. I mean, even if Beckham comes back, I think Ingram's better than, you know, most players that you're going to be able to pick up. And I, I think he'll probably be ranked inside our, our top 10 or 12 for tight end rankings this week. And then Uzama for the Bengals, again, like they're going to have to throw it to someone. Only on 35% 30, of leagues, I don't mind him if you're, uh, if you're desperate for tight end. Got two pick up and play defenses for you. First one's Tennessee on the 50% of leagues, going up against the Redskins. I know the Redskins got the win week 15, you know, going up against Jacksonville. The only reason Jacksonville's D did okay was because of D.D. Westbrook on a punt return. So, you know, Josh Johnson and that team, they're okay, but the Tennessee defense is pretty solid. Tennessee's at home, and overall that Redskins offense just really does lack weapons. So I, I don't mind them as a spot start. And then Dallas... I like uh, at home against Tampa Bay, only on 35% of leagues. I mean, Tampa Bay's offense, you know, they've been putting up some points, but, you know, they still do make some mistakes, and, and Dallas's D has been, has been pretty solid. So I don't mind them as a, as a pick up and play defense either. So that's it. If you're in the championship, good luck. Hopefully I'll take it down, post some questions. We'll try to answer as many as we can this week. Hopefully all are getting ready for the holidays. And hopefully you get a fancy championship on top of it.